In this video, we are going to discuss about some important characteristics of decision generator and their applications. Okay. Mainly, there are two types of characteristics are there. No load characteristics and load characteristics. This no load characteristics is also known as magnetic characteristics or open circuit characteristics or simply I can say OCC okay already we discussed about the open circuit characteristics of DC series generators in the previous video and the OCC of DC series generator is same as that of decision generator and this OCC is similar as that for a separately excited DC generator but the difference is that in separately ex excited DC generator their field windings are excited from external DC source but here in self excited generators their field windings are excited from the generator itself okay so for the details of the open circuit characteristics for a decision generator you can check my previous video means the characteristics of DC series generator there you can see the OCC of DC series generator and that is same as that for a DC shunt generator but in DC shunt generator some important points will be there associated with the OCC they are critical field resistance and critical speed we can discuss about these two parameters or these two things in detail with the OCC in the next video. There we will discuss about the important conditions for build up voltage in the decision generator and we will discuss about the critical field resistance and critical speed in OCC. Okay, in the next video we can discuss about that. And here we will discuss about the load characteristics of decision generator. That includes internal characteristics and external characteristics. To plot this characteristics curve, you can use this experimental setups. Okay. We can use this setups for series generator also. But that uh, means the OCC for a DC generator also DC series generator okay but the difference is that this switch must be in open condition for OCC means that is the no load characteristics but here we will discuss about the load care so that the switch must close so that the load current will flows from here to here and due to this loading effect the armature of the generator will induce EMF and due to this armature current will flow through this and due to this armature current it armature will induce some flux also so due to the armature flux or due to the effect of this armature flux the main flux will get demagnetized or cross magnetized we know that the cross magnetization and demagnetization are the two effects of armature reaction on the main flux okay so due to the loading effect armature reaction will occur and due to this armature reaction we will not get the exact induced voltage at the terminals of this armature. The voltage will reduce due to this armature reaction drop. So that we can plot in the internal characteristics. Okay. In this graph you can see that the internal characteristics of decision generator. Is the okay the internal characteristics is also known as the total characteristics okay the, as the name indicates this internal characteristics includes the relationship between 
the induced voltage that is eg voltage appearing across the brush terminals that is eg and one more internal parameter that is ia okay so i can plot my internal characteristics by using this eg and ia okay this eg and ia this straight line will represent the internal characteristics okay it will not be like a straight line here you can see a dotted straight line here and that portion shows the ideal characteristics ideal characteristics means losses will be absent there but it is not possible okay so internal gara includes the voltage drop due to armature reaction okay when we go to the external characteristics the external characteristics for doing this external characteristics before that make it sure that our generator is running with a constant speed that can be rated speed and my field current is constant this field current can be keep as constant by using this variable rheostat and i can monitor the value of this field current by using the summator here and the voltmeter will measure the terminal voltage okay the load voltage and this ammeter will read the load current okay when we load our generator from no load to full load the corresponding terminal voltage load voltage we can measure by using this voltmeter and load current by this ammeter okay due to this loading effect some armature reaction drops will be there but if the load is increasing from no load to from zero to a maximum value okay then the load current will increase means the generator must supply more currents to the load due to this loading effect more current will induce in this armature due to this what will happens more flux will generate and armature reaction will be very very high in addition to this we must know that due to the armature resistance if i increase my load armature current will also increase due to this increasing effect of this ia my load voltage will decrease is it clear when i increase my load the armature current will also increase due to rising this armature current ia ra drop means the voltage drop due to armature resistance that is ia ra drop okay and if increase in if i increase my load current and ia will also increase due to this effects my terminal voltage will drastically reduce than that of the generated amf okay so that i will get a dropping characteristics than that of the internal characteristics that is the external gara and my external characteristics can be drawn by using the relationship between the external parameters by using okay vl and il these two are the external parameters so by using these two components i can draw my external characteristics okay and in this figure you can see that ab ab is the portion that is the active portion okay and 
at this portion the generator will works ab is the working region of my generator or i can say that b is the point breakdown point of my generator at the point b my generator will give maximum load current okay maximum load current and after a particular point rising load current will drastically reduce my voltage and reaches to zero at a particular point c here due to the rise in armature reaction mainly due to the rise in armature reaction because rise in il will rises the armature current and finally i can say that eg minus eg ira will be like equal to approximate equal to zero so i can say that the vl will be zero here so at the point c it will be zero okay these are the major load characteristics for a decision generator almost it is very similar as that of separately excited generator and series generator okay and please note that the internal characteristics it is not possible to measure eg by using voltmeter so that we can say that practically it is not possible to do the internal characteristics but theoretically we can say that this will be the characteristics but for external characteristics we can do this um characterized we can do this experiment in our laboratory we can measure the terminal voltage by using voltmeter and il by risk current this ammeter okay and let us discuss about the important applications of dc shunt generators okay we know that my generator it can provide approximate constant voltage but it is not possible due to the armature reaction and the ira drop but i can say that it can provide almost constant output voltage so that we can use this to charge battery okay that is the major application for decision generator okay charging battery and it can be used for providing the excitation to the alternators and they are used for general purpose lightning and they are also used for small power supplies such as portable generators etc okay, these are the major area of applications of decision generators okay the next video we can discuss about the critical field resistance and critical speed of dc shunt generator by using the open circuit characteristics okay thank you